Hey, come on up, come on up, come on. Why are you looking so good? Get up here, girl. <laughs> no, I'll be standing here. <laughs> okay, well, is it going to be a yes for you for him? And is it a yes for you for her? Well, have you head on back. Thank you. Okay, well, that is all the balloons. What's up, guys? Welcome back to The Vibe. It's your boy once again. And we're back. Another pop of balloon. What you call it? Drama? I don't know. I call it a tragedy. Because we got one that um, it caught me by surprise. So I hadn't seen this happen yet. So you guys buckle down and check this thing out. Make sure you hit that subscribe, like, and share. Let's jump right to it. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Thomas. Thomas, how old are you? 32. And what do you do? Uh, I work for a clean energy company as a buyer, and I'm in the Army National Guard, and I am a bartender. Nice. Well, thank you for your service. Yeah. <laughs> and now, uh, what are some things like to do for fun? Uh, you know... Go play sports, watch video games. That's pretty much it. Okay. <laughs> Simple guy. <Damn. laughs> yeah. All right. Brother and God, now what are some things you look for on. in a woman? Um, they need to be kind, a woman of God. Um, I prefer somebody who Damn, is going to be understanding mm -hmm. and actually have a conversation with someone. You know, I think you should always look to understand the person you're with rather than you know have some fairy tale in your head okay got it now what are some of your deal breakers um they need to be clean okay <laughs> um uh and they need to be understanding mm. most importantly okay um, and other than that uh that's pretty much it got it all right just clean and understanding uh you probably gonna wish you said a lot more but let's go so we did get two pop balloons. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay, if we can start with your name and age. Hi, Thomas. My name is Candy, and I'm 29. Nice to meet you. And C Candy, why did you end up popping your balloon? So initially, um, I'm not a fan of the earrings, um, but I you know, wanted to give it a, an opportunity to hear more about what you had to say. And I think for me, it was the video games. I'm not, like, big on guys playing video games, so... Yeah, that was yeah. it for me. What is it with you ladies with the video game? I mean, most guys do it as pastime, just something to do. But y'all seem to have a hard time with him taking time out for himself. I mean, she should elaborate a little more like, okay, so are you one of these extreme gamers or you make money from it or something like that? Or is he just, well, some days I come home, I just want to play for a couple of hours and then chill. Simple as that. I mean, I got one. I play it every once in a while. I don't play it as much as I used to. But it never interfered with the family or anything like that. So I don't know. But she looks a little older. You know what I mean? Look how body shape kind of in that outfit. You know, the breast hanging a little bit. And it's a little older lady outfit she has on. And she do look a little older than the rest of them. But, hey, I mean. Hmm. Me. <laughs> All right. Now, Thomas, is Candy someone that's your type? Oh, absolutely. But I mean, somebody who doesn't like my earrings or my style, I mean, I really can't do nothing for. Hey, I want y'all to watch the ladies. They will slay him, but he'll be nice to them, give them a compliment, and tell them they look nice. Watch how they react. Okay. All right. <laughs> now we did get one over here. Okay, and then we'll go back to those. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, my name's Kendra. I'm 29. I popped my balloon just because you look great, attractive. I appreciate how you came here and gave effort today, but I'm just not a woman of God, so I want to make sure that you find your match in every way. So I don't think it's me. Good being honest. Got it. No, she's someone that's physically your type. I know you said woman of God is something up there, but. Oh, no, she's definitely my type. But at the same time, I Thank mean, you. You, under, you understand like I understand. So I appreciate your honesty. I appreciate you. Okay. 
Okay, thank you. And then let's go back to our other two. Name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hey, I'm Serena. I'm 29. And um, I popped my balloon because of the video game comment as well. I was waiting for you to elaborate a little bit more when she did speak on the video games, whether uh, you play them a lot or not. But I don't prefer for my man to play video games either way. Yeah. Okay. Okay, real quick. Comment section. I don't know how many, but, you know, probably 20% women be on this channel anyway. But the ones that are on here, what is it that um, you don't like about your man playing a video game? What is it? I just want to know. Come in. Got it. So are video games, like, do you play them very often or is it every now and then? Uh, No, I mean, uh, kind of came out here extremely hungry, so... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that's kind of the reason that, you know, it kind of came out just as short. But, it, no, I mean, again, it's plenty of other things. That just kind of came to my mind when that happened. So, mm-hmm. okay. okay. But, again, you are extremely beautiful. Thank you. And I do like your hair. Thank you. <laughs> so, you like, he compliments them. All right, and then we did get another pop. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Layla Elise. I'm 29. Um, I popped my balloon... Well, for starters, I really love your top. I love your outfit. And your face is beautiful. You're very handsome. But I I really can't do a dangly earring. Like, it's a deal breaker. And then you said. Yeah, what is up with the earring? I mean, the dangling earring, I don't care what it is. Why you guys wear those? I never understood why y'all wear the dangling earring. It just. It kind of gives off a little feminine type vibe behind it. So I never understood why you guys do it. But, I mean, it's you new cats out here now, so who knows what y'all doing. Yes, you said something. Like, you seemed like you were very stubborn on that when someone else said it. So, And she got a big neck tattoo. Y'all see it right there? Got a big old neck tattoo. on there. Oh, no, thank you. They're coming for that earring. Oh no! Um, <laughs> I understand. You know, and some, an earring can be taken you know, different off. Different strokes for different folks, mm-hmm. but um, you know, if an earring is what turns you off about somebody, that kind of shows me that it's not not much that you're looking for. So it's fine. Okay. Mm-hmm. Can I ask a question? Go ahead. Like, what inspired you to to get it? Um. Well, I have two necklaces of angels on my chest. Um, one is for my child that didn't make it. The other one is for my daughter that did. Um, I'm sorry to hear that. So I, other than that, you know, the feather kind of represents just the uh, angel wings that I wear. Pretty okay. much it. Okay. Okay, that's showed now, up. Um, is she someone that's your type? Oh, absolutely. I, I do like the dress. I don't like the bottom portion, which is, I guess it's a flare. My but rifles. other than, <laughs> yes. But again, you look beautiful. Thank you. Are. Thank you. So, see how it look. Okay. So we do Thank have uh, two balloons left unpopped. Let's go ahead and ask these ladies a question. See if any of them are your match. All right. Um, the lady in the red, I said to look older. She never said her age. You know that? She just jumped right into question. But this chick in the black right here. What's going on with her butt? You see it? Like, I don't know, like a lumpy butt. And she stand funny. I don't know. Something, something ain't right. Can you tell me what your ambition is? Okay. Let's start here with your name and age, and what's your ambition? My ambition. Oh, I'm name sorry. and age. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Tanisha. I'm 29. My ambition is to live the dream, and that is to basically own a house and. Yeah. <laughs> on a house and um oh. i'm sorry no you're good yeah that's your what yeah. else that's your that's, that's, your ambition. that's my dream okay. that's, 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 the dream. Okay. that's the dream that's the dream let's go to our next lady your name no and age and answer to this question your my name is Nai Monet and i'm 26 and my ambition is to open up a spa i'm in the beauty and wellness industry and i love to make people feel beautiful okay this the chick i want y'all to keep an eye on all right just listen to her. She, <laughs> when you think you're 10 and you're not, it's how it sounds. That's ultimately my goal and my ambition. Okay. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Ladies, any questions for him? 
Did let's let's start here. We'll be back. Sorry. Did you say you had kids? I have a daughter. You have a daughter. Okay. Sorry. Okay. Kids are a deal breaker. Uh, terrible. Yeah. I'm oh, sorry. Got it. So terrible prior to posture. that, um, is he someone that is your type? Absolutely. I think that he is really well spoken and he dresses nice, so that's a plus. Okay. Absolutely. And now is she someone that's your type? Yes, but i am be honest with you, uh, a house is pretty low on the list of <laughs> things, you know, but uh, I guess the American dream is whatever you make it, so. Absolutely. I want to say something else, man, about this chick in the black right here. She's one of many that do this. Why you ladies pull your skirts so high up? You know, it's way past the belly button. Like, it's up in the rib area. I noticed that about a lot of women, like, y'all wear y'all clothes now. It's like, Y'all, like I said, want to put their whole stomach inside their pants. And I was like, you can't really hide it. If you have stomach, you can't hide it. We still see it. But you can see her. It's like in a bad posture. You can see it. But, you know what I'm saying? She's got just a little bit of skin showing, but it's, supposed, it's a two-piece. So she got the skirt pulled up so high. So it's just... I don't know. Y'all just keep hiding, hiding instead of getting in the gym. Let's go get in the gym. Get you a trainer and nutritionist. These days you can get one and all. As a matter of fact, I just hired one. So just go ahead and get it. You know? Thank you. Okay, let's go down over here. You had a question for him? I've worked with kids. How old are your kids or how old is your child? Uh, she's two. She's two. Okay, that's a little fresh. That would be different for me. Um, hmm. What is your I'll comment on you. family life? Why do you choose to be single and not with your family that you made a family with? If you don't mind me asking, that's not a stretch. Just out of curiosity, we well, could talk behind closed doors. No, I understand. Um, mainly because... Um, you're raising a child, no matter how, you know, much you want to be with that person, mm. if you guys are not compatible, all it's going to do is make you both angry and it's going to affect mm. the child. So I'd rather be with somebody that I love and I'm happy with mm. so I can reflect on my child rather than be with someone just to hold up some sort of standard that the world puts on us. Mm -hmm. And then at the end of the day, kind of make her into a piece of shit. That's understandable because I'm a foster parent. I'm not a biological parent. Like I said, I've worked with the kids. i worked with kids before, and I do. Um, but like I said, I'm a foster parent, so I can understand that because I know personally me, if I have a child, I'm allergic to latex. Okay, so if I have a child with somebody, I have a conversation before I lay down with anybody. Me personally, I won't be with anybody I won't have a child with. You know what I'm saying? So it's like that's a big responsibility. There's some people in the world that I would make. What's going on with this ponytail she has? She has braids. Like, it's braided back, but then at the bottom, she got a long ponytail coming out of it. And she's very animated, you know, kind of very animated. She's got, got a lot going on that she's doing. You know what I mean? Make a father, but I would not make a husband. That doesn't make any sense. You know what I'm saying? But you know what? I, you understand what I'm saying? I you get what, what I'm you're saying? saying? I definitely get okay. what you're saying. <laughs> okay. Well, and why she keeps hopefully stroking Hopefully we can it. talk about that. Okay. Okay. And I'm not saying. We're good. Any further I'm questions? Saying. Where are you from? I don't think. I'm from Michigan. You're from but Michigan. But I've been here for a while. Where are you from? Indiana. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So you know what it's like to live in the snow? Sadly, yes. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, let's go on up to the front. Okay. At this moment, I think he knew he just F. I don't think he wanted to choose her. He just looking at her like, dang. And then she's like, and the lady, um, her name, Arlette, she's pulling her like, come on, come on. So this girl been trying to get somebody the whole time. And she ain't getting no luck. But I don't think she's his choice. Hey, come on up, come on up, come on. Why are you looking at Sean? Get up here, girl. <laughs> oh, look, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wait, wait, wait. I want y'all to look. It's another one. What's up with these ladies with the bad walk off? The pigeon toe crossed over, the knees hitting. I, that's the second one I did like this. 
And the girl walked off, and the legs were terrible. Now, either you're not used to wearing high heels or your shoe's too big. Something is going on. But the knobby knees and all the bad legs, man, come on. I mean, check, just check it out. Watch. Sadly, yes. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> okay. All right, well, let's go on up to the front. Come on up. Watch it, come watch on it, watch up. It. Come on. Why are you looking at Sean? Get up here, girl. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll be standing here. Yeah, so. <laughs> All right, so are there any final questions before we determine if this is a match? Ooh. Oh, hmm. boy. I don't have any. Maybe he has some. You have any? Oh, yeah. I actually do have some. Good. Like, <laughs> oh. They should have asked, does he find her attractive? I think he's trying to be nice. But I really don't think he's attracted to her. I really don't. The the vibe from him is not, she's really wanting to be with somebody, but him, it ain't there. Yeah, I did have a question. Mm -hmm. um, so tell me, how you feel about dating somebody with kids? That would definitely be something new to me. I know in the past I dated somebody who was oh, a, I don't want to call him a self-proclaimed stepfather, but he was a stepfather to someone else's kids. And it didn't really bother me. Like I said, I'm a foster parent. And even I have friends who have kids, and I take them in as, they're, as if they're my own. Like, I'll babysit them. I'll watch them. I'll help out financially because, you know, I don't have any biological children. So I am an empath. I am a giver. But I know my limits, okay? <laughs> you got to know your limits. Um, now, see, that stuff there, why do you keep looking back at them? That always get me when you're talking and you keep looking back for approval for the women back there and stuff and all this. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Like, I think he may have may have a little interest, but I think she's doing too much. I really do. Like, she's too animated. Um, that would be something new to me. Um, I don't think I necessarily dated someone who had kids that I knew of, you know? So that would be something different. Like I said, I work with kids. I love kids. Um, sure. You're open to it. I, this is something new to me because before I'd be like, mm -mm, I would not date nobody <laughs> with kids. Like I have said that before because I'm just like, you know, scientifically, you know, if you have kids with somebody, like the women is mm. still, y'all still messing with each other. Like that's how. My question would be, so why now? Simple question. Why now? Mm hmm. I don't know. I'm going to look her up. I'm going I'm to throw her in here and uh, I'm going to look at her profile. Let's see. I just got an idea that she probably just be filtered up on her IG and stuff. How it goes, how it seems to have gone, you know, with the culture and how things are today in today's society. But I would be open to it if it's like mature and, you know, we have conversations and if there's boundaries then I would be open to it if there is, you know, some type of co-parenting arrangements and agreements. Because I don't play with my health. I'm going to have to see that my chart, too. All right, girl. <laughs> okay, so. Look at her. Look at her. You look like you're thinking real hard. You're looking like, man, no. What's going through your mind? No. No. Just some of the things that she said. Okay. Um, and I appreciate your willingness and openness. And I really do. And I think that's beautiful that anybody who would be willing to have a foster child to be 100% honest with you if i able to have another child who, which is a son i would love to adopt a child because you know i think everybody deserves a parent so um yeah okay well is it gonna be a yes for you for him yes okay and is it a yes for you for her no. Oh. Okay. Um, oh. It's a very honest. Look at that girl. There. Look at that reason. girl. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait. Watch, watch this girl. Watch the girl with that spiked hair. Watch her reaction, man, when he says no. This is crazy. Well, is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yes. Okay. And is it a yes for you for her? No. <laughs> okay. Um, watch this girl. Watch. It's Look at her. Straightforward reason. <laughs> and I appreciate that. I really do. And there's a really Ooh. straightforward reason. Um, during our whole conversation, it was more about I'm okay with this and I'm okay with that and I'm okay with this. And it kind of seemed more of a, a selfish desire mm -hmm. than a... How so when I'm being open and I just said that uh -oh. I never really dated somebody that had their own kids? Oh, Okay, that's the defense coming in. Why? Well, I mean, he's just being nice. He's not attracted to you. 
Let's just be real. He was just staring at like, I can't do it. I'm sorry, I can't do it. It's not about the... I mean, Elaborate really, on that so I can I thought, understand. Of course, of I want to have a better understanding so we can be... So it's not about a, hey, I am mm -hmm. open to dating somebody with kids, and I'm mm -hmm. more open about that. It's more of a, hey, this is what... I'm comfortable with this is mm -hmm. what I've seen this is how I've percept you know perception wise or anything never it seen it before new experience, so new now, experience not all, open to it anymore. exactly and mm -hmm. if it's that easy to be not open to it mm -hmm. you were never open to it in the first place okay. okay okay all right well have you head on back thank you okay well that is all the balloons popped we do thank you for coming on let's go ahead and give it up for him ladies I'll take the mic thank you get out of here I just <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on up, come on up, come Oh, this is crazy. This was crazy. Um, I don't know, man. I don't know. <clears throat> what would y'all have done? She definitely would have been my choice out of all the girls. She definitely would have been the choice. But he played it cool with her, but he couldn't do it. He just couldn't do it, guys. I'm sorry. He couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. He couldn't do it. He just couldn't do it. So, what y'all think? I've done it. Be honest. Where's your boy? And I'm up out of here. Y'all take care. Catch me on the next one. Check out the videos right up here. And I'm out. Peace.